Here is a thinking problem where we are given the critical point and we need to find the function itself. So determine constants for critical points. The function f of x equals to x cubed plus bx squared plus c has critical point at minus 2, 6. Find the constants b and c. Now what is a critical point? Critical point is a point where the first derivative is 0. So let's write down that first part, right? So that means first derivative of x equals to 0, that means we have a critical point, right? Now it's given to us that critical point is at minus 2, 6. That means basically first derivative at minus 2 is equal to 0, right? That means the function has a horizontal tangent at x equals to minus 2. Now this is one condition given to us. The second condition given to us is that the point minus 2, 6 lies on the function itself, right? So this is one condition given to us. And the second condition given to us is, so we know two conditions. Second is that the point minus 2, 6 is on f of x, right? That really means that f of minus 2 is equal to 6. So we got two conditions. Since there are two constants and we have two conditions, we can always calculate the answer. So that's the first thing you should see, right? So for solving, and if for solving such cases where we need to find two values, we should have at least two equations, right? To get unique or distinct answers. Okay. Now, let's start with one of these. That is, let's start with the second condition first. So we have f of x equals to x cube plus bx squared plus c. And f of minus 2 should be 6. So we say f of minus 2 is equals to, let's plug in minus 2 here. So we have minus 2 cube plus b times minus 2 squared plus c. And this value should be equals to 6 for us. So write 6 here. 6 is equals to minus 2 cube is 8 with a minus sign. And this is minus 2 square will be plus 4. So we we'll write plus 4b plus c. And let's take 6 and 8 on the same side that is left. So 6 plus 8 is 14. So we get 14 equals to 4b plus c. So we have one equation. So that's the first equation for us. Let's say this is equation number 1. Now, second equation, as I said, we can find by the first derivative. Now, f of x is x cubed plus bx squared plus c. So, what is f dash x? So, f dash x is equal to 3x squared plus 2bx. And derivative c is 0. So, that is what we get. Now, f dash x should be 0 since we have a critical point at minus 2. So, for minus 2, it should be 0. So what is f dash at minus 2 equal to? So we'll plug in minus 2 for x. So we get 3 minus 2 squared plus 2 times minus 2x. And f dash at minus 2 is 0. So write 0 here equals to minus 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So 12 and then we have minus 4x. Right? So did I forget something? Oh, this is not x. This is b. Yeah. So this is 4b, since we have placed the value of x, x is minus 2, right? So we have got 4b. Well, so from here we can find b, right? Correct. So let's find b from here. That means 4b equals to 12. And if I divide by 4, I get b equals to 3, right? 12 over 3. So we get so second equation gives us a solution also, right? <clears throat> so that was the second equation anyway. That is as good as solution. So we have, let me now move on to the right side of the page. <clears throat> so what we found is that b equals to 3 from this particular condition. Now we can plug in 3 in our first equation to find the value of c, correct? So it was 14. So we'll 14 equals to 4 times 3 plus c. So 14, we'll take it on this side, 4 times 3 is 12, equals to c, and that is 2. So c is equals to 2. And therefore, we get our values. That is, b is equals to 3, and c is equals to 2, right? 
So I hope you understand how we did this, correct? So most important here is, when we are given a critical point, it serves us in two different ways. One critical point is a point where the derivative, first, first derivative is zero. That's one. Second, the point has to be on the function. So that point lies on the function. That gave us two equations and so we could easily find the values of both the constants. I hope you appreciate this method. So we'll do some of or like some of the questions which are similar to this and I hope you should be able to do them without any difficulty. Thank you.